Good evening, everybody. This is Sweat, and that is just my luck. I try some Conquest Assault, and I get the little TV missile that couldn't. Couldn't quite get to its objective, and if it would have had another millisecond before it timed out, I would have one more Havoc kill under my belt. But we're back We're back with some offensive rush gameplay on Karg Island, and we're back in the Viper seat. And guys, this is probably as much work as I can possibly do in a Viper seat, in the Gunner seat, and have nothing to show for it. We actually lost this game after 50 or 60 kills uh, that I got in the Gunner seat because our team just could not get out of the objective, could not get into the their objectives and plant. Now, I don't know what the problem was, but... It was a very frustrating game, which is uh, kind of the theme of this video. Um, I want to talk about penis, uh, PS3 Envy, a little PS3 Envy, not penis Envy, a little PS3 Envy. But first, uh, on a serious note, I, uh, I made that video saying that I was out of the blue or I was uh, in the clear from Isaac, and that wasn't the case anymore. I just give you guys a heads up. The land that you uh, that you probably see on my live fires, my videos where I, where I go shooting at my grandfather's, uh, is under a couple feet of water. Um, a river, a dam, kind of a dam. They had to uh, release water, more water than they wanted to from it, so it wouldn't breach the dam completely. And unfortunately, the land, uh, my grandfather's land, about two miles from uh, from this major river, actually flooded, and uh, and water got up to his home. Not quite sure what the damage is yet. They actually closed the roads. They forced evacuation and closed the roads, and we haven't been able to see. I've got a picture of it up on Twitter, but as far as the actual damage or if the water is receding fast enough, we're not sure because roads are closed. So, um, not quite out of the blue yet. I'll try to get you guys some more information as it comes, but I know you guys were asking about it and maybe saw the picture of it, and uh, and that's just a little bit of clarification. So, I appreciate the support from you guys. Uh, as far as lo loss of life, none. Uh, our family is, is uh, everybody's healthy, everybody's safe. Uh, so I appreciate that. It's just um, my loss in property, and it really sucks because uh, that's what floods do. But that's not what I wanted to dwell on. I wanted to talk about a little bit of PS3 envy because you guys have that. You guys on PS3, PS3 Premium members, you guys have the ability to play Armor Kill tomorrow, and I don't. And I am just shaking my fist at you right now uh, because you'll be playing it on Wednesday, and you'll be playing Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, and I won't be playing Armored Kill on tomorrow, or Wednesday, or Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday, or Monday. I have to wait all the way till September 11th until the next week, uh, and that just sucks to me. You know, I would love to be playing sooner rather than later, but of course, that's just how it is, and I understand money talks, and I understand that UPS3 guys finally have something on those of us that start out on Xbox and uh, and used to rub it in your face for uh, for Call of Duty, new DLC on Call of Duty, so understandable. I'm glad you guys get your little moment in the sun. I just wish that I had mine. That's all. That's all. I just wish that it was up to me. So if you are on PS3, you do record gameplay. Guys, feel free to uh, shoot me a PM if you'd like to see your gameplay on my channel. Uh, no promises, but we'll see if we can come up with something, maybe a little agreement or two. And uh, other than that, guys, the major news today is the patch notes. And they're, they are so significant that it just it bugs the hell out of me. This is just a frustrating video all around. Uh, it bugs the hell out of me that DICE waits so long to do their patches. You know, I really wish they were more consistent and, um, and patched more frequently and then switched things back, uh, back and forth and, you know, made those kind of tweaks more frequently instead of having us deal with it for months and months at a time. Because the fact of the matter is they're doing something pretty drastic like helicopters uh, taking away the... the the flares from the gunner seat is just absolutely ridiculous. I think you lengthen the time, and I understand. I've been for the longest time about gunners, uh, helicopter gunners, and uh, helicopters in general, in general being overpowered. But you have to lengthen the time between countermeasures. You can't just remove the countermeasures altogether because that's just too difficult to keep the thing in the air. You, I mean, it's never going to be a factor. Anyway, don't want to dwell on it. Just wish Dice would patch their games more frequently. That's all. Is there a way we can make that happen? Anyway, guys, if you missed some of the videos on the left, is uh, the last Black Ops video, is Treyarch saying the right things? I think they are. I really do think they are. V on the right is the last update I had on Isaac, which unfortunately, again, is no longer the case. So if you missed it and you want to see what used to happen or used to be the case, uh, feel free to click on that video. If you're new here, just click that subscribe button. And, of course, you can follow me on social media and see those pictures and stuff I was talking about on Twitter or on Facebook up there, and the links will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support, and I look forward to bringing you more videos tomorrow.